my redeemer walk with me my redeemer walk with me i am nothing without your presence my redeemer walk with me our redeemer walk with us our redeemer walk with us cause we are nothing without your presence our redeemer walk with us oh walk with us walk with us where you are is where we'll be our redeemer walk with us almighty god we thank you for your grace your mercy and your kindness Thank you for this hour, this moment, this day, this time that you've given us the opportunity to come in your presence. Thank you for backing up our habit of praying at this hour, at this time, maintaining the call to prayer. Lord, I bless the reading of your word and I pray that everyone under the influence of my voice shall be blessed, shall be lifted, shall be catapulted to a different realm of worship as you walk with us we bless your name in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen and amen hallelujah you're very welcome to this call to prayer this evening i'd like to share the word of god with you and i believe that as you walk with the lord you make it a routine to seek him develop a habit like jesus christ did as we serve him in this world in jesus mighty name we pray and believe amen and amen hallelujah the bible says in ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. actually let me read from verse 12 ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 12 to 14. but my child let me give you some further advice be careful for writing books is endless and much study wears you out that's the whole story here now is my final conclusion fear and obey god's command for this is everyone's duty underline that fear and obey god's commands for this is everyone's duty 14. god will judge us for everything we do including every sacred thing whether good or bad now this evening i want to say it using you need to put your name he's saying my child he's calling you samuel caroline jovia whatever name it is He's calling you to fear his commands. He said that is the final. There's nothing else to add. Fear his commands for it's everyone's duty. Because we will be judged for everything we do, including every sacred thing, whether good or bad. If you're listening to me this evening, I thank God for the opportunity that is given me. And I would also like to thank you for giving me an opportunity to share the word of God with you. Yesterday we learned from the word of God. We talked about fear. And how we should develop certain habits so that fear and anxiety will vanish. Today I'd like to speak to you about fearing god instead you know there's a kind of fear in the bible that's opposite to the spirit of fear and that's the fear of the lord 
the bible encourages us to fear the lord and each of us as it's scriptural in ecclesiastes 12 13 must fear the lord and obey his command if we get rid of fear we then must replace it with the fear of the lord which is the perfect one so stop fearing your circumstances Stop fearing what's happening in your family. Stop fearing those people who rejected you. But fear the Lord. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs chapter 1, 7. You can imagine for you to have the knowledge and wisdom to pass that interview. To pass that exam, to execute the assignment that the Lord has given unto you, including ministry, you must fear the Lord. But people are not excelling because they have become the fools that despise the wisdom and instruction of God. It's the Bible that is calling them fools. So what must we do? If we have learned today that the fear of the Lord gives us the knowledge the option is start fearing the lord but if you don't fear the lord you have fallen in the bracket of fools as the bible says so once you know that the scripture is talking of fools as people don't fear the lord ecclesiastes then gives us the conclusion and said to bring up this matter to rest fear god and keep his commands for it's all our duty my sister and brother listening to me there is a secret in having personal time with the lord each of us as we work on our habits must learn to have personal time with god because when you relate with God, you develop that relationship with him. You know, when we talk about that relationship, we're talking about how two people relate with each other. They spend quality time together. I know that most times people just want to come and ask God for a miracle. They haven't discovered the importance of relating with God. When you learn to have time for prayer, time to yourself to seek God, the relationship between you and God is built. I'm talking about the time that you alone have with God, not necessarily listening to call to prayer, boiling and prevailing for prayer. Do you have time with your personal Lord and Savior? I tell you the truth. I wouldn't be where I am today in the things of the Lord if I didn't learn to create personal time with God. And I still want to, as much as I can. On daily, it is important. When you fear the Lord, you will receive knowledge. And that knowledge will help you to create time for yourself with God. You will have personal time with your creator regular time and automatically it will eventually develop into a habit why you say ah uh -uh, if you want to discuss with me at this hour i'm not available when you have the fear of the lord you begin to seek the lord and you will draw nearer to god the bible says in james 4 8 draw near to god as he draws near to you Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. God is calling me and you to draw near to him. And for someone to draw near to God, they need to have that, that reverence for God. They need to be in position to fear the Lord. They need to acknowledge that God is the author and the finisher. They need to know that he's the beginning and the end. Hello? My sister and brother listening to me, when you fear the Lord, it's the genesis, it's the foundation 
It will turn away all the snares of death as it is written in Proverbs 14, 27. So what am I calling unto you this evening, this afternoon, this morning, depending on what time you're listening to me in which country? There is a call for us to fear God. And when we fear the Lord, we are given knowledge. And once we have the knowledge, wisdom, and I mean, we have the knowledge and wisdom, fear and anxiety will vanish. Please come with me to Proverbs 14. I said 27. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain. My God, it offers escape from the snares of death. A life-giving fountain. A life-giving fountain. Now, if you're listening to me this morning, this afternoon, this day, you need to know that when you fear the Lord, you receive a life-giving fountain. And you will escape the snares of death. In other words, you'll escape the traps of the enemy that will take you to glory before your time. So instead of fearing the calamities, the circumstances, your situation, fear the Lord. It's a must for you and me. When someone fears the Lord, they are friends with the word of God. They are friends with the Bible. And I would like to thank Nicole. She wrote to me and said that God has convicted her to take up on Bible study. When you fear the Lord, the word of God becomes your tight. The word of God becomes your friend. And this time when you have your quiet moment, you will open the Bible. It's the yardstick. It's the foundation. It's the will of God for you and me. Let me remind you politely. The Bible is the most important book in the world. It's the most outstanding book that we all must have. Hallelujah. It's the most important gift in the world. This evening, when you're listening to me, when you need to remove the fear and the anxiety, open the Bible. And once you open the Bible, you'll now sing to the Lord. Open the floodgates. I want to see you. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. You will have received the word. You will have received the knowledge. And you will pray from that perspective of knowledge. You will not pray with an ignorance perspective. How many of us fear the Lord? If you fear him, what is your relationship like with him? You know, because I relate with him, that's why I say from my lips to his ears. I have taken my relationship with another level. I know that when I start to pray, it's like he says, uh -uh, anyone else can hold. Caroline is calling. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the kind of faith I have. I have taken it to that level that when I call on him, he'll say, oh, it's time for call to prayer. Let me be there. It's time for boiling oil. Ah, let me appear. It's time for prevailing power. Let me appear. These seven days, I have people that have, have, have tasked to do my work. Fearing the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. It is only fools that despise. I pray that you and I are not among the fools that are despising the instructions of the Lord. You might be saying, so Caroline, what does fearing God really mean? I'm simply telling you that it's a must for me and you to respect and reverence the Lord. Because the fear of the Lord will help us to continue shining. When we fear the Lord, 
we will submit to his will. When we fear the Lord, it will be easy for us to follow his command. When we fear the Lord, we will develop personal quiet time with the Lord. When we fear the Lord, our knowledge of scriptures will be evident because we'll get time to relate with the Bible. The Bible says in 2 Peter 1, 5, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. Praise the Lord. And it says in 2 Peter 3, 18, but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Instead of fearing what our future is holding for us, Instead of fearing what people are saying about us. Fear God who is able to deliver me and you from the trouble, from the snares of death, from the challenges, from the burden, from that lack, from begging, from that life of frustration. Honestly speaking, I hate poverty. You know, if God... And I'm asking God to, to just try me, to test me with a blessing that is overflowing and upward and above. I would be organizing, if possible, at least a quarterly meeting just to come for us to say three days on my account. <laughs> You're coming. All I need from you is your Bible, your notebook. Let's dwell in the presence of the Lord. Let's share the word. Let's begin to pray. If I were you, just ask God to bless me. Tell him, God, test Caroline with a blessing that overflows. Praise the Lord. The fear of the Lord will help you to cast out that fear and anxiety. Instead of focusing on what the future holds, what the challenges we have, focus on the word of God. Fear the Lord and you shall be blessed. When you fear the Lord, it will be easy for you to experience his presence. Here in your presence, let it rain. When you, sit such, such, when you sing such a song, you're really lifting up your hands and you're calling for the presence of God. And eventually it will bless you. It will touch you. You'll not sing it out of a carnal perspective. You'll not sing it out of an ignorance perspective. you sing it from a knowledge perspective because you know, when I call on the name of the Lord, he will arise. He will appear. The Bible says that Adam experienced the presence of the Lord in the Garden of Eden until he backslid. In Genesis 3, 8. We should walk, delight, dwell, think, reason, establish, preach with the fear of the Lord. When someone fears the Lord, they will not manipulate Christians. Because the fear of the Lord will be in their hearts. When you fear the Lord, you will not walk in pride. I remember posting today something on my status. That when someone helps you and they have little, they have not done it because of abundance. It's out of love. And it's out of a sacrifice. And I've seen that throughout my life. It's not pride. I am honest here. Throughout my life, I've showed people love, even that are not lovable. I've sacrificed. How much more will I do it when God gives me in abundance? Have you been tested? Do you fear the Lord? And don't think that I haven't gotten disappointments and lessons. I have. But I've continued to seek the Lord. And I've learned not to undermine and to, to water down when somebody helped me when I needed it. It's out of true love and sacrifice. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Because he loved you, he sacrificed his son for me. So when someone gives you in a state when they don't even have much, don't joke with it. Play with those who are giving out of abundance, not out of a sacrifice and true love. 
And so when you come to God and say, Father, for some of us, it's only you that we have. Because I fear and reverence you, this anxiety, this storm must pack its Lord and go in the name of the Lord Jesus. The word will be fulfilled. I am calling on to you to hunger for God. I know each of you listening to me, there is that search for the presence of God. If it wasn't that, you wouldn't be listening to me. But because you desire the presence of God, that's why you're accepting to even take your time to download this call to prayer. I know we all long for the presence of God. Me too, I long for it every day. I don't want to struggle because I know when the Lord is active, even when I'm responding to your email, he gives me a word instantly. Fear God. And I can tell you the truth, a church that fears the Lord can never remain the same because his presence will always be there. If you genuinely, if I genuinely fear the Lord, we cannot remain the same because his presence dwells in us. Fear the Lord so that you walk in the fullness of joy, peace. You will experience the presence of God. The Bible says in Psalm 16, 11, thou will show me the path of life. In the presence is fullness of joy. At the right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Walk with the fear of the Lord. And anxiety and fear will be destroyed. Turn your gauge unto the Lord. Some of you are focused on men. They will let you down. I have seen, I've experienced, I've tested, but the Lord will never abandon you. Lord, I call on you. Lord, I call on you. In this hour, in this minute, you are my answer. Lord, I call on you, my God, Lord, I call on you, in this year, in this season, and in this time, you are my answer, my God, Lord, we call on you. Jesus, Lord, we call on you. For some of us in our life, we have no one else to turn to. But you are the only answer. Oh my God, we worship you. We bless your name. Thank you for revealing to us that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge and wisdom and it's an answer an antidote to anxiety and fear i pray that for myself and my sisters and brothers this evening we will focus more on building our relationship with you my god we refuse to be distracted by the occurrences and the influences of this world Rialacro toko si pro colanaga rite lexo rucaba reta legero tamasire getaya interregla do si porro conta lacra telegasi predai interroclo si precaloto loco si precata interracla do si pracaya do rata la ganso croteleba in se bruta lacra de bosia. I pray that anyone listening to me, my God, without hesitation, will turn to worship you, will turn to pray. Praise your name. We'll turn to glorify your name. In Tarekla do si procoli do sarakle de bo si procotaya. Rialekro toki ranto cobri makazi protola. In serekle toko rantaya. Relixe yi carenta la carimo rote le casu precata. Ezi procoli baranta la carodosia keradosia. 
Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the word that you've given us for the month coming. We are not going to fear. We are not going to be anxious. I believe in your word. We are standing on it, oh Lord. And I pray that each one here, my God, will learn to develop their personal relationship with you. From today, I decline personally from being a fool, my God. And I pray that anyone listening to me this evening will accept and decline from being a fool as the Bible says that the fools despise. I pray that in any area where we despise your word of God, may you grant mercy unto us, O Lord, and show us the way, the truth, and the life. Le cabro go si procotala in so procola bibo ronte legai zi acanto lo crotolo gon si prekeliza zi conta rica la keto loxo y carama real si procete legizoya irodox su canta racla de bossi precatai e brana baroto lo ziba e zucro loki to roclo de mosi e keta e radox su cotayaga mantari e leto mose de ganto e zu procuta la crudo mosea o ziam pacaya o ratolo con sipora in so cobregetaya my master my savior my king my lord jesus thank you for an answered prayer thank you for blessing your children Thank you, Lord, for the month of May. A month where we are going to face giants in prayer. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the giants are falling. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, the giants are being slain. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we arise and decree and declare. We are coming, we are taking over. The giants are falling, my God. We will face them with your word. We will face them in prayer and supplication. Lord, we bless your name. Master, we acknowledge your presence. Thank you, my Lord God. Le kabragi sakatarabai liantoro kobro li karodo si paya marakalari bo reketolaba rialexo kotari maretalia rialanso krotoli gareto irokobri makaradi antela ralexo korani mareketaya. We worship you, Jesus. We bless your name and we thank you for the wisdom that you've granted us, the knowledge that you've granted us, O oh God. Thank you for delivering us from the spirit of fear and anxiety. We are taking over. Thank you for giving us the heart of love again. Thank you for healing our hearts that have been broken. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering us. Thank you for answering those that have been living God for children. Remember one lady that wrote to me this evening and said she has finished five years after a holy matrimony and no issue. I stand and decree, oh God, that she fulfilled, oh God. She obeyed you and waited, oh God. After these five years, oh my God, may this be the last time she speaks like that. She will turn her lips and confess that it's until the sixth time, the sixth year, the fifth year, is when the Lord blessed me with the fruit of my womb. I speak a blessing and we thank you for the baby Lyra. Kevin Aloyo, congratulations. We bless the Lord. He surely gave you a prophetic word and now the baby is here. Who can doubt what the Lord has done? We thank you and we bless your name, Lord. To you be the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. And to our Lord, Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We love you so much. May God Almighty bless you. And we thank God. I don't know if that lady is listening to me. I saw your email yesterday. Kevin Aloyo was believing God for a child. Today she's carrying the child. We've seen many. I'm just using that as an example because she gave birth yesterday. There is also someone who wrote to me in my inbox. She's been miscarrying, but she says it's days since she took in. I don't want to commit that baby into the hands of God. You will carry your baby. She's also been, I think, in marriage for, this must be the third year after her wedding. But we want to come against delay. We are going to pray and believe God for our answer. All we need comes from God. And for some of us, it's the only way that we can believe it's the only solution that we have i can't offer nothing beyond prayer so if you're looking for something above prayer that i cannot offer 
I'm very sorry, but if you're seeking God and we agree together and we believe together, you're in the right place. I thank God for this day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. May you have a blessed evening. See you tomorrow at Call to Prayer. Remember to pray for those who have lost in this time that we may not be able to know and those who are still broken down that God will heal their hearts, especially Papa Drake. Pray for him that God will heal him and God will deliver his family in Jesus' name. I love you. Shalom. Our month of May is a month of facing giants in prayer. I'm excited. I thank the Lord for that word, facing giants in prayer. We are not going to use our lips. We are not going to use anything that people do. We will face them in prayer with the word of God and God will back us up. Shalom. I love you. Good evening.